All right, folks. Hello, and welcome back to another Click UE5 short tutorial. And in this tutorial today, I'm actually going to be <laughs> redoing an old tutorial. So previously, I made a tutorial on adding material elements to your model, and by that, you just um, to quick summarize, you use Blender to do it, right? And I showed you in detail how to do it, how to set it all up, even for like you know, if you've never used Blender before, you can still get the easy idea of how to do it because it really is easy at selecting faces and just assigning a material to it. That way, in UE5, you'll have a material element already assigned to it, and at that point, you can just change out the materials. You know, it was it was a short tutorial, very you know to the point. Uh, and, and and it was it was perfect really um however shout out to han solo because he actually showed me well he actually um he had first asked an initial question uh you know a bit of a backstory as to the conversation we had today uh he was like uh you know is there a way to actually add material elements to your model in the ue5 editor and i was like not as far as i know because i really didn't i never really looked into it because you know, I, I was already I already had Blender. Like I was using Blender before I ever got into a real engine. So it just you now it's not like I needed to, um, you know, I already knew of a method to do it, if that makes sense. So I never actually looked into it, <laughs> but it turned out there is and it's super easy. So I was just like, wow, you know, this is like mind blowing. So I'm, I'm making this tutorial about it because it's super simple and super easy. Now, of course, the previous method still works, of course, you know, neat and dandy. Um, but now you just have a different method to doing it as well. So with that said, let's actually get into how. So what you want to do is just make sure you have your model selected, obviously. And then up here, you want to you want to change the select mode into modeling. We want to go into the modeling selection mode. Now, this is perfect. All you want to do then is just you see this window on the left side. Now, you should have this window on the left side. Um, because this is, <laughs> you know, I'm going to assume you do, because I know sometimes a person will be like, I don't have a window, and I'll just be like, uh, well, actually, anytime I do see those kind of comments, I always try to, you know, help people out. But if you don't have it, I mean, I don't see why you wouldn't, you know, unless you accidentally close something, then, like, if you close that, you, it's still there, you see, you see what I'm saying? Uh, with that said, I actually did just close my uh, window. <laughs> so let's figure out how to get that back <laughs> um, in the event that you do close your modeling window all you have to do is just reopen it so that's perfect right so just exit out go back into select mode then go back into modeling <laughs> that was completely unscripted but let me get to the point okay so all you have to do here is just scroll down to the attributes window right then you want to click on material edit and this is the material editor for Unreal Engine 5. It's really simple, really neat. This looks familiar if you saw the previous method um, in Blender. All you have to do is just select the faces and they assign the materials. It's the exact same thing in UE5. So how do we do it? First, you want to make sure you actually sele uh, select the face. You can tell you so you can tell you successfully selected a face because when you select it, it turns red. So if I was to select, let's say that one and that one. Now, all I have to do is just click on this little plus, add in a material element. And, you know, the window is kind of small, so you got a couple options. You can either just scroll down or you can actually just, you know, widen it. So just drag that down a bit. Perfect. Now, as you can see here, we have a new material um, array element. So that's perfect. Now, let's actually choose a material. Let's choose something, you know, something like chrome or burnished steel. There we go. That's perfect. Now, all you have to do from here on out, is you have to actually make sure you have that material um, active. So in the active material um, section, choose the material that you want to apply. And then once you've done that, all you have to do is hit assign active material. What this means is that on the faces that you have currently selected, it will assign the active material to those faces. And so because we currently have the burnished steel as the active material, once we hit assign, now we have assigned the active material to those faces. Now, currently this looks all black, but that's just because of the angle. As you can see, it's still working just fine. It was just like, you know, the, literally the lighting. Um, so if we were to, let's say, select that face, and you can't even see that one, so there's no point. Let's just say these three, right? Perfect, perfect. Now, once you have that selected again, add an array element, let's choose something different, maybe a kind of wood, wood, you know, wood pine. Uh, change the active material and real quick the active material it only showed the materials you currently have um, indexed so keep that in mind um, as well as just hit the assign active material button 
and now it's loading in, you know, it's not going to look this bad. <laughs> it's just, you can see it's doing its thing. So once you have it fully um, added, and now you can see that looks perfect. All you have to do is actually make sure you accept, because this means that you want to accept slash commit the results of the active tool. Once you hit accept, you are done. It really is that simple, folks. Um, it's just currently loading, takes a minute, um, and we're good to go. So now we can actually go back into select mode, open this up a bit further, just as previously. And now you can see we went from having only element zero to element one, two, in addition, totaling out in three different uh, material elements. And we all, we did all of it inside of UE5. No need for Blender for this. So like, wow, you know, <laughs> can't believe I never looked into it, but this is how you do it, folks. So this is, this is nice. <laughs> That's so good to know. Uh, with that said, folks, that's all I have for you today. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, you know, uh, and best of luck in your UE5 endeavors, because as I always like to say, it's difficult when you don't know what you're doing, which is the main reason why I make these kinds of tutorials.